<laughs> Way to cable car. Yeah. Thank you, boss. Yeah, well, Namaste. Yeah. Have, Have a beautiful my... day. Yeah, Good I car. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. I have my everything. Good morning, good morning guys. We are going for another cable car experience here in Pokhara, in my adventure city, Pokhara. Namaste. How are you brother? Fine. So oh, we have a bubble tea. Yeah, so it's a oh, interesting. Combo, cool. So on the way back, Maybe, on the way back. <laughs> Thank you. So this is gonna be my second cable car experience in Nepal. Uh, I already have done one in Kathmandu for the views, which was a little disappointing because the weather was uh, blocked. But I think today is a beautiful day here in Pokhara. So we're gonna go for a ride. And we're gonna figure out how much we pay, how long it takes, and what we find upstairs. These are the views to the Pokhara Lake. Check this out, how beautiful is it? And we have the Buddhism flags hanging around too. This is gonna be our ticket office, I believe. Namaste! Hi, how are you? How much uh, for one person? I'm from Azerbaijan. 1,175. 1,125. Okay, here's a 2,000. Yeah. Two-way ticket, sir. Yeah, two-way, yes, please, please, two-way. I don't want to get stuck up there. How much is in dollars? One thousand one hundred? Nine dollar two way. Ah, nine dollar two way. Okay, much cheaper. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank have, you, sir. Ha have a good time. Thank you. Have a great day too. Bye bye. All right, this is much cheaper than. Uh, what I have paid in Kathmandu. I think Kathmandu we paid two ways twenty-two dollars. Two ways here is actually nine dollars. Namaste, namaste. All right, this is the way. It says welcome. And uh, I guess someone gonna check our tickets to see if we are eligible to go up. Namaste, brother. No checking. Yeah, go. Okay, thank you. All right, we're gonna proceed upstairs and then hopefully we get some nice breakfast or some good coffee at the top with the views. Uh, so this cable car is actually called Annapurna cable car for a reason because even though we are not in the Annapurna range right now, but you have the views to the Annapurna range. So that's the reason it's called Annapurna cable car. Then we have to go one more floor up and then we will arrive to our cable cars and let's see if we can get a solo car just for ourselves okay this is the last floor here we are it's happening there's no line which is a great sign Maybe we catch actually this one. Namaste. How are you, brother? I'm in here. Good, good. No line, huh? Today. Thank you. I can catch this one? Yeah. Thank you. Namaste. All right. We have it. We are actually going to be alone here, which is a great sign. So I can talk to myself and uh, be as loud as I want. Because last time in Kathmandu, there was a lot of people with me, so I was a little bit more uh, uncomfortable. Because I don't want to bother people like while they want to be just in quiet and just relaxed and I'm like talking in the background. All right, the door is going to close right now because it's end of the edge. And uh, from here on, we're going to take off quite fast actually so normally in this part it goes really slow because people get in, get in get out and then check this out machinery it's insane how huge are these things and carrying 
few turns from above to down and then down to up. Yeah. The technology behind this should be mind blowing. All right, now we're gonna go for a takeoff. And then from here on, we go quite fast all the way up. These are the offices you can see downstairs. We're gonna pass by the villagers too. So meanwhile you're going, you can actually look at the, the families downstairs, their houses and how they live, what they do in the morning, for example, washing the clothes or uh, feeding the animals or they're in the field doing something. So it's a quite incredible experience. Uh, if you look at it from the time perspective, it's like such a modern thing. And then down there is like a villages and uh, small. So different, different like, uh, I would call it like time, time difference. Modern world, the cable car goes above you and you have a normal uh, average life where you just wake up, do farming and then you have that crazy technology just above you. So it's like aliens are taking off. Look at this. This is the villagers. Like you look at this, kids are playing with the ball. They're listening to some music. It's actually a homestay, huh? you can actually stay there too. How cool is this? And then look at this. The chickens and then the family is cooking right there. And then the kid is playing on the background. I love this experience. So basically nine American dollars and this is what you get guys. And higher we go, we're gonna have incredible experiences looking over the Pokhara. And then on the other side, we're gonna see the Annapurna range. And uh, hopefully today is a nice weather. We can see the fishtail again. In my this trip in Pokhara, I haven't seen the fishtail still. All right, look at this. Let me take you out actually. <laughs> How cool is this? You can actually do this because there is a window. So I can bring my head out too. These are the views guys to Pokhara Lake. And then this is actually where we started and this is the Pokhara Lake. Beautiful, beautiful. And then it's super quiet here. I like that these cabins don't have any music or anything. And uh, if you wanna go a little bit more crazy, you can actually wander around. There's actually a little window here if you wanna open it. If you squeeze this out, if you squeeze this out, you can actually push this up. And then you have the views to where we go. Like this. There's uh, other people on the other cable car. They are going downstairs. And if I'm not mistaken, this cable car actually operating since 4 a.m. So people actually go upstairs for a sunrise. And then obviously upstairs there's also a resort and different activities you can do where you can stay uh, and uh, you can just enjoy the views in general. So which means you have a chance to go for a sunrise and go get some coffee or something upstairs. So yeah, it's not only for tourists, but day to day people is also using it to go up. We actually have a, there's a window here, so I'm gonna open it. No, this one is blocked. Otherwise I could show you other way. You can see something from here. Oh, my ears are getting blocked. <laughs> but yeah, such a fun experience. Just sit here. Let me put you on a trip up. All right, no, it's too low. All right, something like this. Sit down, enjoy the views. Look at the villagers down, enjoy the forest life, listen to the birds in the background. Cool experience. In a few seconds, it's gonna be a little bit shaky because when you are passing through the columns, the wheels are touching the cable and you can feel the shaking. 
which you're gonna feel right now. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Look. I'm gonna be shaking now. Alright, we have a more village life here guys. Check this out. Look at this. Woo! They're just can you imagine you have a like house here for 200 years and then they build a cable car above it? It's like a modern technology is taking over the villages here. And this is all uh, clay houses, I think. Beautiful colors, quite old houses. These are what villagers normally do the farming right here. So they live here. So yeah. I think uh, what was more painful was construction of this. I think there was so much noise uh, for a few years at least for the villagers. But right now I think it doesn't bother them because it really doesn't make any noise. Oh, my, my ears are going higher and higher. All right, check this out guys. We have, I think, more clear views from here. Beautiful. And we came to another column here, which is gonna shake us a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that one, that one was short. All right, once we are at the top, guys, I'm gonna connect with you to show you the views uh, to the Pokhara side, and then later to the Annapurna side, which is on the other end. So let me show you then as a views to the lake one more time. Let me take you actually out just like this. Look at these views. And then this is such a beautiful house here. And we have the goats making noise. All right, guys, see you in a while. I think in uh, two, three minutes, we're gonna be top, at the top. So I'm gonna share you with all the details. See you in a while. All right, village life continues still even at the top. You can still see the houses and the villagers, how they're living. This is actually cornfield, I believe, since it's not uh, short, but it's a uh, long, so it's not rice for sure. I think it's corn. And uh, our platform is here, Annapurna Cable Car Last Station. There's actually two stations, basically. You have to get out at the last one. And we are now arriving there slowly, which gives me the opportunity to show you around and see what's expecting us. We also have a zipline option here. Nice, but I think these are for kids since it's like 50 meters, maybe 100 meters. It's really short. And here we are. Oh, how beautiful. There's also a temple right there. Here we go. Last station, Annapurna. Beautiful. Let's get out. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> the doors are opening slowly and then which allows us to get out. Namaste brother. How are you? Good. Alright, exit. This way. Let's go. Ticket counter. Ah, this is for the swing, so you have actually a swing option right here. Wanna go for a swing, which I think this couple actually going at the moment. That would be a really fun experience with the views and then there is the zipline option. So you pay here as an extra. Let's be a little bit lazy and take the elevator to upstairs. All right, we are going to restaurant? No, I think we are going to the gate actually which should be only one floor upstairs. 
Are we gonna have a nice views from here too? Mm, the window is not so clean, so. I cannot wait to see the other side, Annapurna range. Because now we are looking at the Pokhara Lake, which is one side, but the most exciting part is on the other end. That's why we are doing this. Nice, there are toilets available too. In general, first feeling is super clean here. Which I really, really appreciate. Namaste, boss. Oh. Alright, we didn't get our namaste back, but it's fine. So, as I mentioned, I already know that there are a few places here where you can actually stay. Uh, get a breakfast, for example, this place right here. I'm sure they can serve you some coffee. But uh, I know one specific place, which you can see the top from here. We're gonna go visit that place specifically. I already saw the mountain ranges in a distance, but in a few seconds we're gonna have even better views. Woo. All right, this is the this is the place where we're going. Actually, it's called Banjiang Village. It's open. That's a good sign. Namaste, namaste. They have also opportunity for you guys to stay here if you like to wake up to the views to Annapurna but uh, last time when I was here I actually came for uh, some tea coffee on this part so that's what we're gonna do too look at this can you imagine sleeping here and waking up to the views that would be incredible All right we just arrived to our final destination let me show you the views first and then after we go get order something Whew. not the most clear day but still you can see few ranges in a distance at least we can see one two three four four ranges you can also see the fishtail which is actually right here might be not so clear from the video, but it's there. Alright, let's go get a coffee. We can actually sit somewhere here too. I think I'm gonna get a sit right there somewhere. Namaste! <laughs> Namaste, boss. Hello. Namaste. Hello. Hello, Hello, brother. What do you have uh, for breakfast? breakfast? Yes, please. That would be very, very nice. So like if you want to take one set, we have three set of breakfast. Okay. Uh, like if you want to have individual, you can choose from here. Okay. Can I have a roti breakfast, please? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So I will have one roti breakfast and uh, one, one chia. Chia, which chia you want? Ah, uh, yeah, like a milk tea. Milk tea. Normal milk tea. Thank you. So like in roti breakfast, you want to have puri or chapati? Ah, uh, chapati is good. Thank you, brother. Potato curry or algodon? Okay, potato curry. Potato curry. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. They also have a seats upstairs, which we can actually use too. Oh, how nice is this place? Look at this. A little bit more better view to the valley down there. And you actually have also viewpoint even higher than here, so you can actually go there too. It's I think part of the hotel, but if you are buying something, they wouldn't mind you going for sure. Ah, we we can see then as a range at the top too. Nice. All right, our seat is taken, so we're gonna go downstairs. I think we will sit somewhere here. All right, this is our spot then. It's gonna be nice anyway. There's the views. All right, guys, we're just gonna wait for the breakfast to arrive and then we're gonna connect again. Beautiful. I like that this looks like a castle and then mountain ranges in the distance. Perfection.
the views are still the same not much changed the clouds are still on top of the mountains but we do have the breakfast which looks like this we have the milk tea which is also called chia comes with uh, two sugars we'll see if we need it or not and then we have the main part of the breakfast we have the two chapatis right here looks beautiful and we also have the potato curry it looks uh, very delicious i normally don't eat uh, heavy breakfast but we're gonna do it this time i'm just filming it, <laughs> it you a yes i'm a youtuber i make videos uh, it's my channel my david david is my name i give you later when i pay i will give you the name oh you have a little bug here all right thank you brother <laughs> he was listening what i'm gonna say about the food and yeah oh, let's go maybe i actually get the bug out and then sit on the other side because it's gonna be better light for you guys you see i'm always thinking about you i can make the video i can eat my food but i want you guys to see what we are doing to here so we're gonna start uh, with our tea to see how is this mm, it does definitely need sugar <laughs> I'm gonna add the sugar actually there and uh, this is our I don't know how much dollar I wanted to say how many dollars is it but I don't know the price to be honest so but it shouldn't be too too much we're gonna ask it later on chapatis and um, potato curry the best way to do it take a piece of uh, bread chapati make a kind of spoon and then go all the way in that's what I learned in South Asia when you eat the food with your hand, it always tests, tests better. Okay, we're gonna go for a good dip. Mmm. Delicious. It's definitely not too spicy. It's good spice that I can handle. I'm gonna cry a little bit, but still it's good. Amazing. There's also a spoon if you want to just eat it, which we might try as well. Beautiful. A little heavy breakfast for uh, 9 a.m. But still great. Most importantly, I'm enjoying the views. Looks so beautiful. So calm here. Let me show you my views too. This is uh, what I was looking at. First my food and then second to the views. So yeah, if you actually take the cable car, come check this place out. Beautiful garden. If you want to stay here, sleep overnight. I'm not sure what are the prices, but you can easily find it on online. And uh, yeah. So instead of having the views to Pokhara, you have the views to Annapurna range in a distance. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my food, add some sugar to my tea, and then I will see you later, guys. All right, the breakfast is done and our bill is also here. So which cost us 480 rupees which is uh, actually <clears throat> around four American dollars. To be honest, that's a great deal. This views worth much more. So if they ask me even $10, I would still pay for, for the views. And the food was great too. <clears throat> and uh, tea actually, they haven't charged me. So it's only actually you pay for the food and then the tea or coffee comes on top of it. So you don't have to pay. So. 480 we have a 500 and uh, 200 for a tip let's pay to the gentleman and then we're gonna leave I have my everything perfect where is the where's the boss namaste where is the brother brother oh, brother thank you so much 
There's a little tip for you. Thank you. All the best. Yeah. See you next time. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. All right. Leaving from the place. And this is the accommodation option actually. And then there's a stairs takes you all the way up, which I'm not gonna go really. <clears throat> oh, look at this door, guys. Looks beautiful. It's a, it's a carving. Looks incredible. And this is, I think, one of the guest rooms here. All right, it was a very nice experience and uh, great food, incredible views. And I've been super lucky that we have a nice weather because Pokhara weather changing quite a lot. And there's actually the older people say, basically, never trust the weather and never trust the woman. <laughs> That's something I learned in Nepal that uh, been kind of like a phrase being used uh, among the generation here or generations. So, yeah, you never trust the weather. Looks like this right now. Namaste, thank you. Looks like this nice weather, but in few minutes it can actually start raining and can go crazy here. So, never trust the weather here, especially in Pokhara. All right, seems like uh, there's also a little shop in this part. I think they're selling some shirts, some souvenirs. It's mainly for the kids, I believe. And they also have the rain jackets as we are talking about the rain so all right i'm gonna head downstairs and take the cable car and then i'm gonna see you in a while we have a very colorful buddha temple statue i'm not sure how to call this it's not it's not tomba but it's something else and I always enjoy to rotate these things while you're walking. Ah, these ones are not, ah, this one is rotating. And this one too, but this one is stuck. Ah, no, it's just harder to make it. Thank you for visiting us. How amazing, guys. Nine American dollars. You can come all the way to top, see the both sides, Pokhara and also Annapurna range. And meanwhile, we have the Shiva statue right here too. Look how beautiful and how colorful is this. The artwork just incredible. All right. I think number eight is here, which is my favorite number. So let's get it. Namaste. Eight is my favorite number. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Look at this, Annapurna cable car number eight. Thank you. We have it. How amazing. Let's uh, open the windows. More air. Thank you. Bye bye. See you next time. Ooh, we are a little bit shaky right now. All right. Let's take off slowly. Look at this massive machinery. How these things are turning around not making too much noise even in the main parts here it's just mind-blowing technology behind this and infrastructure being put together it's just crazy all right i'm taking a ride in my favorite number number eight in a cable car leaving the annapurna beautiful doors are closed and then we're gonna take off slowly. Let's go, let's go. Very slow. All right, one, two, three. Ooh. Now much faster. Beautiful. Now I'm less uh, less uh, noise more calmness 
and we are saying goodbye. Ah, look at this, some people are actually swinging on that swing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are heading back to uh, main part of the Pokhara city by the lakeside and uh, I'm gonna sign out. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for coming and joining me in this nice experience in Pokhara and very happy to show you the views and the experience in general, share with you the prices. So, see you in the next video from Nepal. Namaste.